in the backcourt. And the Wizards have gone from being a curiosity because of that man, Michael Jordan, to a legitimate playoff contender within three weeks, although they're missing one of their key components, Richard Hamilton, who's uh, been playing very well out with that pulled groin. The injury was suffered last night, late in the first quarter in the game in Orlando. Hamilton coming up with that pulled groin. Washington went on to win it, though, 93-75. Michael there igniting this capacity crowd at the guard. So the Knicks have a 9-2 lead. They double up on Sprewell. Camby takes it to the rim. For the Wizards, it's their first eight-game win streak since back in the 1982-83 season. Nine straight wins is a franchise record, and they have done that three times. The last time was in 1978, November 14th through December 1st. So they're trying to match the franchise best nine straight victories. 70 pounds, made it back from torn ligaments in his left thumb. Haywood guarding Camby. Springwell for three. Davis Forte, of course, the three-point shooting in the former Nick. Good screen by Thomas to free up Spree, but he continues to miss fire. Spreewell has been off. Oh. See, it's Thomas up front now with Harrington. And Spreewell. Nick's in the doldrums offensively. Nothing happening for them now. Aggressive good D tonight thus far. Well, trying to get on the book. Thomas. A couple of weeks very instrumental in the eight-game win streak. Hamilton also a co-player of the week or the month? Yes. Uh, of the year. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll say the month. For okay. The, for the weeks of the games that he had. So, catapulting these with it. Camby made himself call small that time, bringing the ball down. Jordan able to knock it away. Freewell comatose this first half. Not scored a basket. Here's Camby. Who lost the crowd. Crowd comatose as well. No action. Steal by Michael. All right, here comes Jordan. Oh, the crowd reacts. The tip missed by Jones. Jordan tried to draw the foul, and he did. It's a charge on Sprewell, who is suffering through a very long night. And the savvy of Michael vexing the Knicks previously with the steal. That time reading Sprewell's mind to draw the charge and foul. Game to 44. Knicks team revitalized now, but now oh, another foolish out. foul. Spree and Houston, Spree and Jordan going at it. We saw that last week down in Washington. Very pugnacious, both players, a lot of pushing and shoving going on. Let's take a look, the right side of your screen. Michael likes to post there. Saw Spree shoving, Michael shoves back. And in this case here tonight, you know Latrell Spreewell is frustrated with the 0 for 9, also does not have an assist. 7, 46. Whitney, one of their better three-point shooters that time. Jackson going behind the screen. Davis, their other good. In that second quarter, they shot four of 19 from the field. Sprewell try to give it back. He has been way off a bad pass from Sprewell. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan taking it to the rim again. The Davis has canned a couple from right there. Sprewell. 0 for 10 from the field. Harrington keeping <laughs> sweep the nation. <laughs> the other fact applied 18 turnovers committed by the Knicks. You see the difference at the foul line. Ward very offensive minded now. Good job by Luke frustrating him. Anderson. Shannon pleased and then hears it from the other side. Michael Jordan. <laughs> So that's why he looked bewildered. What? What? <laughs> Davis able to knock it away from Houston. Here's Jordan around Sprewell. That 
that's been the one major difference this year. Michael Jordan has not been able to hit shots down the stretch. Springwell continues to have his problems. He is now three for 16 from the field, and it's kind of a opportunity right here. Down to 15 seconds. Both teams over the foul limit. They're holding for a finale here. Game tied 83. Now Jordan, played by Spreewell, has the five. Here's Michael firing and hits for three and two tenth seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Figured that he would live and die with his mission of making this particular shot. Houston on him, Spreewell on him, but to no avail. Watch those shake right there, get up on his toes, and it's pushed through. Trying to make it nine straight to equal a franchise record and trying to make it six straight wins on the road. They are on their feet at the garden. Two-point wizard lead, three and two ten seconds remaining. Jackson gets it in. Sprewell puts the move on Jordan, he and he stepped out of bounds. That's the kind of night it's been for Latrell Sprewell. Now, Doug Collins takes a 20-second timeout. Turnover number 23 committed by the Knicks. And that one a ghastly one. Spree the culprit. And a tumultuous night for Sprewell. As that might be the coup de grace for the Knicks. Take a look for yourself along the sideline. Ooh. He did oh, not yeah, done. right there. Unequivocally standing on the line. Michael hounded him into the turnover. Right in front of the Wizard bench. And right there, clearly well over the line with Street. Yes, uh, no argument on the part of the uh, Knicks. Actually almost stepped out. Now Jackson in bounds. Here's Houston for three, and he hits it, but it's all over. Doug Collins had told his players, no foul, stay away. As the Wizards defeat the Knicks, 87 to 86. And the Nick tailspin continues since Don Chan.